there is quite a bit of unused, forgotten, and cut content from Zelda games. First off, I'm going to say I won't be talking about the R-Wing in Ocarina of Time, or the leftovers from the Wind Waker that can be found in Twilight Princess. Instead, I'll be talking about the more obscure stuff. Things that make you wonder, why did they cut that? Or why was that included in the first place? Let's start with sound effects, which can range anything from a sword slash, healthy filling, to Mario talking? Yeah, Mario talks in Twilight Princess. There's a leftover audio clip for the Wii Remote that contains unused sound effects from Super Mario Galaxy, which was in development at the same time. Here we go! Speaking of Twilight Princess, it was the first 3D Zelda game that did not include a mirror shield. Interestingly, there's an icon of the mirror shield resembling the one seen in Ocarina of Time. It's possible the mirror shield would have been in Twilight Princess, and it's unknown why it wasn't included. Another icon looks like a dark version of Tetra. I know I said I wouldn't mention Wind Waker left over into Twilight Princess, but this is worth bringing up just because of how creepy it is. It was used as a placeholder for Minda before her design was finalized. Since I mentioned the Wind Waker, I'll go into that game next. I'd say it's a safe bet that Tingle has the most, how should I put this, unique face in the game, right? Wrong. Well, probably. I thought this one was weirder. There have been multiple Zelda games with bizarre, unused textures and models, but this one has to take the cake. Why it exists is as good a guess as any. Speaking of faces, remember Fado in The Wind Waker? Originally he was supposed to have open eyes, and there are unused animations of his eyes blinking, looking left, and looking right. He was also going to look a lot more like the Kokiri from Ocarina of Time, with green hair and slightly different clothing from his final design. Another change to a character in Wind Waker is Jaboon. There is code that suggests that you can interact with the water spirit outside of cutscenes. An incomplete model of Jaboon's full body, including tail, which is not in his final model probably because it was not seen, has a single animation of him swimming. Because the model lacks eyes and a defined mouth, it was most likely abandoned relatively early on. When The Wind Waker was first released, many fans didn't know what to think of the cel-shaded graphics. Were they too cartoony? Did they not fit the series? There are actually 41 unused textures in The Wind Waker. These do not include the various ones used in the test rooms. Some of them probably weren't included because they didn't match the cartoon style of the game, while others, such as these two, seem too bizarre to be included anyway. Enough about The Wind Waker. Let's move on to a more recent game, Skyward Sword. The moment of discovery when opening a chest to get a new item or heart piece can be an exciting time. In Skyward Sword, there are a total of three known chests that are hidden out of bounds. Two of them each give a piece of heart, while the third, which can be accessed from the Fire Dragon's room, has the Goddess Harp. Here's something else from Skyward Sword. Remember that girl, Karin? She has an unused animation for when she is being blown by the Gus Bellows. After you obtain the Gus Bellows, Karin hangs out in the Night Academy, and since you can't use the Gus Bellows inside the Night Academy, this animation wasn't included in the final game, but is still present. Have you ever thought about how terrible of a person Link is? He kills natives and steals people's money. Luckily for him, a few traps were cut from Ocarina of Time, one of which looks like a Deku scrub, but when shot with an arrow, it launches it back at the shooter. Another is a rupee that explodes when it's approached. Maybe this would have taught the Hero of Time a lesson or two. Now on to Majora's Mask, which recently got an awesome remake for the 3DS. Maybe you've walked up to the Happy Mask Salesman while wearing different masks. He says something different for each one Link wears, but what about the Giant's Mask that can only be equipped in the Twin Mold boss room? He just so happens to have dialogue for that, too. Not only that, but the leader of the Bomber's Secret Society of Justice has a thing or two to tell Fierce Deity Link. In version 1.0 of the Japanese game, if you talk to Jim as Fierce Deity after popping his balloon, he will say, You pop my balloon! Mister, you should pick on someone your own size. Seems the Hero of Time could have used those lessons from the traps that were cut from Ocarina of Time. Jim's line, paired with the dialogue from the Happy Mask Salesman's thoughts on the Giant's Mask, hints at the possibility that these two masks could have originally been used outside of their limited areas. Now for the grand finale. Yes, that's right, you're seeing that correctly. Zelda knows how to backflip. There are nine animations for Zelda that were made specifically for Majora's Mask, yet none of them are used in the game. These animations include her doing a backflip, as seen here, and multiple ones where she holds a flute and not an ocarina. This may suggest Zelda originally might have had a slightly more significant role in Majora's Mask. That's all for this video, but there are tons more things that I didn't go over. If you found this interesting at all, I highly suggest you take a look at the videos and links in the description. The people who found these things are awesome, dedicated fans. Next time you play a Zelda game, take a moment to think about all the things that could have potentially made it into the game, and wonder what else may be hidden that is yet to be discovered.